Hi, I'm Patty Rokas with RocksTellStories.com and I want to share with you about heart rocks. Um, these are actual rocks that I've found in the woods and on my hikes and I have hundreds of heart rocks and this is really kind of how it all got started, my interest and passion for collecting rocks. And I want to tell you the very first story about how this really got started. There came a time in my life quite a while ago in my 30s when I got really sick and I hurt my back and I wasn't able to do much and it was a really discouraging time. I was out of work, I didn't feel like I knew where I was going with my future, I didn't have a companion, I just had lots of complaints about life and on top of all of that I had injured my back severely enough that I couldn't really walk and it took me some time to heal from that and part of the physical therapy was to walk around the neighborhood and I remember one particularly difficult day when I was really upset about life where was I going and was God really listening um, I was crying and I was walking and crying and I started talking out loud to God and said are you are you really here are you do you see what's going on with me do you care and I've always known that he cares but in the center of really suffering, I think a lot of questions come up. And just as I was asking these questions, I noticed something on the ground and I very gingerly <laughs> bent down and picked up a pecan shell. It was half of a pecan shell and I turned it over and if you've seen the inside of a pecan shell, it's a perfect heart. And as I saw that heart shape, this warm, beautiful feeling came over me and I just knew in that moment that God is real and that God loves me and that he knows me and he was very aware of what was going on. It was such a tender experience. Nothing really changed. My back wasn't healed immediately, but I felt his love and I knew that he cared about me and that he's in the moments of our lives. And that that understanding has gone with me through the rest of my life. Well, it was from that point on that every time I'd see a heart shape in nature, I, it, I just knew that it was a message for me from God. So I look for heart-shaped rocks everywhere I go, and here are just a few. Um, this is a favorite one. I'll have to tell you the story of this one another time. This was an answer to one of my prayers because this is one way that God talks to me is through heart shapes in nature. It reminds me that he's real and that he's with us and that he knows our daily issues and our challenges and struggles that we have. So the amazing thing is that after I found that pecan shell and I started going, I, my back healed and I started going on more and more hikes, I find heart rocks everywhere I go. There is not a hike I go on that I don't find a heart-shaped rock. And I used to collect them all until I had hundreds of them. And then I decided, well, okay, we'll leave them in nature. So that's how it got started and from there I started seeing other shapes in rocks and then eventually I saw people and stories in rocks and then ended up making books telling the stories of Jesus. This is my latest book, He Is Risen. It tells of the last week of the life of Christ and it explains why he went through all of that. And it does it all just in rocks and pebbles. This is my favorite picture, and I'll have to tell you the story of that one. But all of these are just rocks that I found while I was out hiking, and then I felt compelled to uh, take some pictures and make some books. So that's a story. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you feel God's love for you because it's real, and He does love you.